Hey guys, it's Kip here from KDC Marketing, and today I'm going to show you how to create a button in Figma. So if you go to Figma and create a new design file, then we're going to make a frame here, and we're just going to do a wireframe just for this example. And over here on the other side, I'm going to show you how to create this button. So I like to make a section, and so we're going to use the shape tool. We're going to, or we're going to add the text tool, sorry. And we're going to call our button contact. So I'm going to zoom in here so you can see this better. So if we take our text tool and we shape it down, and then if we hover over that and if we hit shift A, it'll turn this into a frame over here on the left-hand side. And now there's this box around it that can become the button. So on the fill side, we're going to add a fill and we are going to change this button to blue and then we're going to actually change it to green whatever color you want and then we can we can edit the the button size here this way we can space things out so we can get our button spaced however we want and once we have that button how we want so let's say we want to use it as the nav main navigation bar button but we also want to use it throughout the website what we're going to do is we're going to create a component for this. So once, once we have the button selected, we're going to go up here to create component. And now this button is uh, something we can reuse as an asset. So if I drag this button here, I can reuse this anywhere I want. So once I've created that component, what I actually like to do is I like to bring it over here to the this section. And then we're going to create a, a, uh, a variant of this button. So Let's say we want green and we want red. So I'm going to call this red button. And so this variant here, this number two, we're going to change to a red color. Okay. So as we can see here, we have different options. So when I go to create this component over here, I am just going to copy the component. But then I can I can drop this down to red or to green, and I'm going to add a couple of different buttons here just to show you the versatility of of this. So let's say I have a few different sections on my website. I have a main header section here, a hero section, and um, then I also have another section here and another section here. So I've got all these different sections on my website and I'm just gonna give this a nice little main heading so we can kind of see that it would look like an actual website here. And we're gonna center that, center the text. We want this white, whoops, white text over here. And maybe we want a black, black, okay. So we've got these buttons. So once we have that, the if we go over and we change the main component, it'll change all these buttons colors. So if I change this to a blue, see we automatically updated all the buttons at once because it was using a component. And so this is this is really what you want to do if you're going to be reusing a button style over and over and over again. Then you only have to change it once, and it will update all of them simultaneously. Uh, same thing as if you have variants. If you wanted to have a bunch of different variants over here on your component, maybe you have a green button variant and then it's just that much easier to pull from your assets at any point in the website. So I hope you found this helpful. If you use the button, if you create a component for the button using that shift A to create the frame, so it's just a text. We'll do it one more time. It's just a text uh, field. And then let's say this one says subscribe. And we'll zoom in. So if we have this as a text field and we hit shift A, it'll put that frame around it and then we can put in the fill and we get our button that we want. And let's say we want this one to be our long button compared to the contact one. So now we've got that. So once we have that, all we have to do is click create component it's its own component over here. We can drag it over here to our brand, our, uh, our section. I like to call that the brand guide. And then we can reuse that component. So 
if we pull it into our assets, we can just pull it over, pull it over, and pull it over. So just to show you how quickly you can you can scale up your design if you use buttons as a frame and then a component. It really helps, especially when you're making, you make one change to the button, all the different, different variations change. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next video.